Yes, 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 yes. Welcome back, people. Welcome back. You know it's another week, and this is EP4, but technically EP3, part two. Yeah, so we got we got to get this thing going. We got to get this thing cracking again. Thank you to each and every one of you. Like always, we got to start with gratitude and giving thanks because there's many of you tuning in and just supporting us. So without you, there's no us, and we appreciate you. But the show can't start without the intro. So I'm gonna go to my right. Wow. Yo, people, you know what's happening, man? It's GK. I'm Uni. Oh, yes, Big Jono. Yes, Randy Rands. And I ain't got to say more. You know we got three goddamn hitters at the back. We got... Rena Mimi. Nibi Nibs. What's the crack, Bella Lee? And this is... Be my, my guest. guest. Yes, 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 up, yes. Up, yes. Up, this up, one's up. a special. As you know, it's obviously like it's a special. It's a special one, you know what I mean? Like this one for everybody feeling in love yes. or loved or Let trying it. to be loved and looking for love and boom. wherever it is however you feel this is about love in it and i mean and we what's thought that? you know we were gonna have a special <laughs> but you know what it looks like me and gk didn't get the memo <laughs> man what's Some going on what's do. going on like we look in the middle here everyone's it's all right it's all right we didn't make the cut for the merch these them new trackies man yeah 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 then we can get a memo. So what? Make yeah. sure you shop out apparel. Man said apparel. I was on oh, the Insta apparel. saying apparel. 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 <laughs> apparel. It's apparel. 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 I'm not gonna lie. Please. 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 I've got it, but it's just I don't. I'm not just wearing it. <laughs> I've got it. Trust me, I've got it, but I'm not wearing it. But yeah, um, check out Cart Apparel. Yes. Um, on yeah, Instagram, um, to get yourself one of these. Mm. Um, they're really warm. I must Fantastic. say. Oh, yeah, it's cold yeah, outside, yeah, so you yeah, need it. So quality, quality. Drinking a cup quality. of tea. Essentials. Um, Cut. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a set. Exactly. <laughs> Boy, and talking about talking about successes and talking about um the week and talking about releases, like GK, what are you telling me, man? It's a good week for you, man. Oh damn, yeah. yeah. Um, for those who for those who don't know, I'm uh, I'm on YouTube now as well, so you can go. Oh, so that you to the channel, yeah. Where yeah. the money um, resides. Where the money resides. <laughs> That's where reside. we're heading this year. Where the money resides. So um, I'm on YouTube now. Where the um, bongo lives. On Cabs Fit, the channel's called Cabs Fit. So make and I've got a video that dropped this week as well. So quality um, stuff, man. Get yourself moving. With that video, you know, um, get that sweat on. Yeah, and for real. Make sure you subscribe as well. Yeah. So yeah, go check it out, man. Cal- I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I tried it, and at first, when you look at it, you're like, mm, "Am I gonna get a sweat out of this?" I'm not gonna lie. You Someone get, said that to me. You, well, so yeah, you get to get, you get, get to sweat. round two, and they're like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, this is it." But it's lit. Pain it's lit. Sweat, check it out, and it's, you, you know, it's gonna be weekly, and um, yeah, man, it's gonna get us fit. It's gonna get us healthy. So someone's around the corner. I don't know. Just in case they let us out, we're gonna come out looking strong. Well, we're gonna come out gonna looking healthy. This guy is just lying as usual. Well, they might just let us out. They might just let us out. Does anyone still follow the updates and stuff like that? No. no. I just, I come across them. And no. I, no. I gave up time ago, man. Yeah. No. <laughs> like I said, this guy's just lying as usual. This Matt Hancock guy. There hasn't been much, to be honest. I think the next one's like, what, 22nd? The next yeah, one's yeah, an important one. I heard something. Is it 22nd? Like nah, no, they t- they're talking about next lie. week. They're talking about next week. Apparently, no, it's heard, next week. I heard the 22nd. Next week, Monday. 22nd. 22nd's the next review. Is it? They're okay, gonna okay. They're just gonna lie again. Oh. Is, next week, is it? Is no, it? No, it's a week after. It's a week after. Last week, the twentieth is Saturday, isn't it? The week, yeah, the Monday. Twentieth is Saturday, right? Okay, 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 so, okay. Yeah. okay, okay. Alright, yeah. alright, 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 cool. Mm, 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 mm. Like what are you not saying though? So it's been a good week for everyone, man. The glue lady here got her hair back. I black doctor that helped her, you know. Oh yeah, big up shout out black doctor. Ghanaian. 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 Ghanaian to be specific. Okay. Alright, he came I'm not gonna lie, he came to save Ghanaian. the Ghanaians, you know, because I saw I saw um was it a TikTok? I saw a TikTok on on Shadeborough and <laughs> the guy that was falling. <laughs> Oh, he was falling. He was falling in his ass. Oh, face. the lie, bro. <laughs> I, at first I watched that, I thought, floating on his ass. I thought pause, but I'm not going to lie, bro. The Kwamis and that got to come back. But I think the doctor oh done them God. justice. He came back and saved them. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, shout out doctor, Big man. What, what's his name again? Boy. Doctor. Yeah. Boy. Um, Michael Obeng. Shout out Dr. Obeng, Obeng. It? You know what I mean? Dr. Can you press that one? <laughs> Dr. Obeng. Do you know what? He came through. But you know what? On another note. So, 
I, cool. Do you not think it's fair for the the lady to run uh, people their money back? Because she was doing a GoFund, you know, got she something like twenty one thousand. Twenty one thousand. And then she got she got no, she's doing a GoFund. I think to get the treatment. I think the treatment that she got it was, was about was, was t- no, but it's no, it's worth about twelve k. Okay. But she raised about twenty one k. I'm hearing. So wait, if so, there's a treatment, boy, place, that means there's actually people out there. There's a challenge. No, actually, challenge. actually, let me not lie. Let me not lie. The, the doctor. Mm. Yeah, There's a challenge. No, let me not yeah, lie. The doctor apparently he made it. Apparently made yeah, it. He, he he got a mix <laughs> of um, chemicals together yeah. and and created this this particular Magic one. Coach. So he doesn't oh, yeah. exist because even exist. even um, gorilla glue this, themselves didn't have the solution. Yeah. They suggested an, a number of things, and the lady went to her local um, hospital, mm. but they couldn't sort it out. They couldn't. I'm not gonna lie. I was too invested in that story, bro. Like, I'm, I'm gonna lie. Oh, <laughs> One of my guys had to message me and say, "Yo, you're 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 loving this," and I, I had to g-check myself and say, "Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm actually." I was checking how how long, how many followers she gained throughout the whole time. She and got all a blue tick out of it, though. Blue tick that, that mocks it. I think I think I I gave up after a while because I realized like, listen, this is, you know, she stopped giving us updates because obviously she sold her story. Mm-hmm. Did she sell it? You think she sold it? Did she sell it? Her story, yeah, because she stopped giving us updates. And we kept getting updates through, like, you know, yeah, um, TMZ. TMZ and stuff. Oh, what? They buy stories, yeah? Yeah, she sold it. Oh, um, shit. So, yeah, I, I think I, I gave up. I, I, it just got, it was very stupid. I didn't think it worked. I think the whole situation was. She she's just made. She's made the whole business out of it. Yeah. Is it? You give it to yeah. Her, yeah. No, her, her, her situation. She made the whole business out of it. Oh, what? Do you sell stories on TMZ? I thought they just pick it up. No, no I, don't, they I don't know. They ask you. Oh, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You are, give it to me. Because you know what? Yeah, I was looking at her. She's page got a management I'm... now. She's got a management exactly. team now. Exactly. I was Ooh, looking at her. She's got a blue tick yeah. now. Yeah, she's I'll... selling merch now. Yeah. What merch? Yeah. Gorilla glue. Gorilla glue. Gorilla glue, glue girl. Do you remember she tried to even sue Gorilla glue? She's mad. She can't do that. I, I even no, saw like, like, her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. apparently on the on the small print it didn't say you can't put it on your hair. What? Bro, <laughs> that's not I mean, be careful hair, you man. <laughs> be careful that with that. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a girl called Gorilla something. Yeah, yeah. but that's sold in hair shops. It's sold in hair shops. And which owl did you go to in the shop as well? Wait, exactly. so wait, you look come again. She tried to sue out, the yeah. man. Expecting to get DIY <laughs> out, and you are expecting to get hair gel. There's a gorilla glue for hair, though. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's all the hair shop. Yeah. I see it. I see it. I'm on the Insta now. She got the merch. The t shirts like twenty eight dollars or something. I even saw a Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah. buy it. America's crazy. Oh my day, she yeah, got people merch. People buy because pe- even like birthday cards. Valentine's I'm not gonna cards. lie, this is a joke. Yeah. Started using um yeah. Girls will buy it and it's use mad. it as PJs. That's actually That's nuts. crazy. It's man. actually mad. Bonded in glue. Crazy. She got that merch. Boy, that is jokes. She's laughing. That's yeah. too crazy funny. Like that. From when? That's too funny. That's too funny. I stopped. Now, um, I stopped following it because I just uh, yeah. No, that's jokes. No, nah, but you know what it is. Um, on that though, that's that just shows the power of social media, though, isn't it? Like it can work. A certain a negative situation can actually work in your favor. Like mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like because that that was the situation that she created for herself, but it ended up working in her favor in terms of she now got eight hundred thousand people following her for a purpose, obviously because a lot of them people were just eager to find out what's going on. Mm-hmm. But you know, like it just shows like if used properly, social media can actually change your life in a positive way but yeah. if not used properly like you know it can have a negative impact you know what i mean so because on that you know i'm you know i'm starting to find that you know you've got places like clubhouse now where anyone and every everybody can just go on there and just start talking and then you know giving out advice and you're thinking to yourself hold on a second bro like how are you able to give this advice do you even live that life do you know what i mean mm-hmm. like it just there's a lot of pressure coming from that, yeah. do you know what i mean like what are you saying gk there was there was a like <laughs> i came across something like on twitter there was like a room with, with giving out like tips on how to be a millionaire <laughs> and one guy <laughs> got added into the what's that is it the stage he got the, into the he, stage the and he panel asked him a they question. call it panel isn't it? yeah the panel and he asked him a question like what Mm, mm. Everyone that's giving our tips, I'm actually interested to know like who's a millionaire. Who's a millionaire? <laughs> and they kicked him out. <laughs> oh no! They, what they kicked him out? Yeah, they kicked him out. <laughs> I got he said, pressure. Yeah, it's true. How can a non-millionaire advise people how to become millionaires? It's mad. That's oh, like you know, million you know, that's like that's like someone that's fat telling someone how to lose weight. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> no, <laughs> you went there. Yeah. Well, I can tell you. Hey, I can tell you how to lose weight, bro. It's true. It's no sense. What? It's true because actually, you know what he said. I might know how to use weight but I don't want to lose weight 
No, but you need to show for it. You need to show for it. Nah, I hear you lot. I hear you lot. But do you know what? What's your take on that though? Because there's there's a lot of that happening. There's a lot of these so-called influencers online, you know, sort of giving out the wrong information to people. You have vulnerable young people who actually take these things for the gospel. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they have a favourite YouTuber or Instagram or whatever, and then, you know, they take these things for the gospel. Like, you know, my favourite YouTuber said this, my favourite YouTuber that, yeah. done that. So, and then, I re- you got to come to a realisation that, hold on a second, these things that these people are saying doesn't match my goals. Like, you know, because your goals got to be smart. It's got to be, you know, sustainable. You got to be able to, you know, it's got to be realistic. You know what I mean? Like, and then you got to come to a realization that these things that this he or she is saying doesn't even make sense because how is that realistic? You know what I'm trying to say? Mm. So social media, I don't know, man, it's applying a lot of pressure on people. And then, and then unfortunately I feel it for those who are vulnerable because it just, I don't know, man, it's just leading them in a certain way. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Vulnerable, yeah. I'm actually, I'm actually heavy on that still, especially like, it, it actually annoys me, like, especially in like, the fitness industry, it bothers mm. me, like, you got people like not to blow smoke up me on ass, but you got people like <laughs> <laughs> you got people like myself and obviously other, <laughs> other, other like fitness other like fitness professionals who are, who are qualified, yeah. who have their qualifications, who are actually out here hustling, mm. and you know who who know their stuff, mm. who they are and we're up against like some any. I don't even know to use the name some any Jacqueline or Wendy or something mm. that wow. woke up oh, Wendy, did man. like twenty squats. Grew a bit of glutes Got surgery And said Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There was something on that Do you know what surgery. That is mad you know wrong, uh, Ren and Mimi What are you saying That is mad Because There's a lot of these influencers That they yeah. know That had BBO yeah. And they were selling us Fitness products And, and they were talking BBL, about that bro. Bro. It's not even BBO What is it In general You just You wake up You do that 20 squats You grow your quads a bit You're like oh yeah I'm going to give out tips I'm going to give out like Start that is program. Mad, it's wrong. Absolutely. What's your it's take wrong. on that BBL? So, what's your take on that? Though? I think I just think in general, like, don't don't lie. There's no need to lie. If you actually went and had some sort of medical help assistance to get the body that you have, just is say it. Be right? honest. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. medical assistance. Yeah, med- if medical you had medical assistance, assistance wow. to get the body that you have, because <laughs> 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 yeah, you can't just sit there. Readjustment. And wake up. <laughs> Readjustment. Yeah, and we wake up it. and then tell people, yes, mm-hmm. I, I have mm-hmm. this body because I went to the gym. And you have people, mm-hmm. you Wrong. saw them post a picture like last week, they didn't have that body. And a week after, in the space of what seven days, they now have they've grown a small it's waist sad, <laughs> and they've grown a bum, and you're like, hold yeah. on a bit, and they're like, it's just hard work and dedication. Nah, that's Trust me, hard it's work. It's not hard, man. Nah, it's, 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 the like, it's the pressure, that's though, isn't it? It's the nah, pressure of social media. To heart, man. It's like the like pressure of social are, media, isn't it? They made it. People are actually buying it, and it's sad. Yeah, that's what it's got people doing, man. It's unfortunate. And for me, it's like going back to the gorilla girl story. It's like the amount of people that were reposting, that were supporting her, it's like, if we I'm all... I was one of them. If we <laughs> all did that to, mm. like, a small business that was trying to start mm. up and that was actually, you know, showing how much work they put in, mm. how much mm. dedication mm. they have. Mm. Imagine if everyone did the same thing that they did for that gorilla girl mm. to, like, a small business. Mm. If mm. everyone literally did that, can mm. you imagine how, like, mm. supportive and how well these businesses would be doing but yeah, no, people will literally just like the things that people like to mm, mm, support mm. and repost the most on social media I think mm, it's, it's mm. like gossip mm, mm, yeah. it's anything sexual mm, mm, yeah, it yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. anything that looks pretty yeah. and nice mm, in the mm, eyes mm, 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 but mm, mm. when it actually comes to supporting mm. real and actual things mm, people mm. don't really support because it's just mm. like uh, that's not yeah, really just look how quick gossip mm-hmm. goes around yeah. compared to like someone promoting their business yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this guy cheated on this this girl cheated on that yeah. Yeah. that will get reposted like. but what do, what do, get, what do people get out of that though like you know what I'm saying because I realise all this cheating thing the toxic thing and all of this negative news it doesn't last it doesn't stay around for a long people time innit? do you know what I mean it. the thing is though I was saying the other day yeah, it's almost as if nobody has a normal ex anymore Everybody's oh, ex that is mad. Is it's mad. It's mad you touch on that. Everybody's ex is mad a man. Mad you touch on that still. Everybody's mm, ex mm. is mad. Everybody's ex. Man, man, is that man? I man, that horny, you know? I need that. I need that. I need that. I think that we. Yeah, like everybody's just you know we're we're so big on this labeling game, like you know we we are toxic. This person's toxic. This person done that to me. When really, like. I, I don't know what is toxic. What what is actually uh, toxic? Because when you think about you it, you don't even know what might be toxic to you 
is absolutely normal to somebody else. There's people out there ruining relationships mm. because of that. Like, oh, sis, no way, don't have that. Mm. Sis, you deserve the world. That's coming from By a single means, person as well. But, but I'm, what if I'm you sorry. do deserve the world though? No, you do. Someone's just trying to let you know that you deserve the world. Everybody deserves, deserves the world. But listen, yeah, mm, mm, mm. I'm all big on like woman power mm. and you know women speaking Erica about toxic Badute. men and stuff like that. Yeah, mm, man, mm, I'm, mm. I'm, I'm all for that. But we've got to admit sometimes, yeah, that girls are toxic. Girls are toxic. No, you didn't just say that. No, I said it. Nah, you didn't just say that. Nah, you didn't just say that. 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 I feel like. It is. I'll help you there. I'll help you yeah, there, just in case like, you have girl, someone come back. Some. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some, some girl. girl. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put the asterisk. You gotta put the asterisk. I'm not gonna generalize. I'm not gonna generalize. Don't this generalize. Is, this is not even <laughs> me trying to be a pick me girl because there's a lot of girls out there that pick will just me, say things me. because, you know, <laughs> they want to be on the mandem side. Pick me, pick me, please. <laughs> but I'm genuinely being honest. Like, we have to start <laughs> evaluating <laughs> ourselves as people. Not as just females and males, as people in general. Like, I feel like we really have to sit back and think, maybe I'm the toxic one. Oh my you God. know, maybe I'm the toxic one. Yeah. And you oh know, my God. the other day, for example, how yeah, the question was asked, what do you do when you're losing an argument? Mm. And it was some toxic answer. Oh, I'm just going to lie. Things like girls, if you're losing an argument and you know you're losing an argument, mm. you just start crying. No, for real, is that what girls do? Is that not madness? Oh, like, no, what, what, they play it. sad in that? <laughs> so it's all in that? That's right. But is it... <laughs> Is that toxic? Yeah, is that toxic? Are we putting that in a toxic? Um, <laughs> that is toxic. That's toxic. I think it's, it's yeah, not. Yeah, I think toxic. it is toxic. Yeah, exactly. I think that is that, toxic. That's, that's a. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to know? What do you want to know from me? Ask me. <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real. That's and, mad. Bro. Yeah, it's and, not mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. It's toxic, bro. A toxic. I yeah? think it is toxic. I think but why do you not cry? Is it because? I realised that... Um, but I've heard of guys doing that as well, do girl, Guys crying, yeah? yeah. <laughs> no, I heard, but do you know what? I haven't heard of guys crying, but I do... I have heard of guys just trying to flip the blame. Like, yeah, yeah. guys will cheat and then That's go, common. what do you think that you did that made me cheat? Oh, for real? No, you cheated because you're mad. You cheated because it's you mad. wanted it's, to cheat. It's crazy because no. we, saw yeah. this, we saw this in the movie that mm. we watched the other day, Black yeah. Rose. And then, oh. the, yeah, you know the part. Yeah. Like, the, guys, the guy started Yo, crying. Wait, what movie is this? He started Black, Black Rose. Rose. It's, it's a Where Hollywood movie on Netflix. Netflix. On Netflix. Oh, we're quoting Hollywood now. I'm, I'm, yeah, glad, yeah, you yeah. Know, I'm <laughs> glad you don't mention that. I saw, I saw a little snippet on Insta one time, yeah, of what I think really it's Hollywood as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One woman caught her husband cheating. She found, like, a pair of knickers in the house. <laughs> I've seen that. Yeah, seen that one. She found a pair of knickers in the house, so she went to confront the husband. like, what is this? What is this? And the husband goes, why did you touch it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Why did you? And then it flips the script. So she's like, she's looking mad. Yeah. Like, Why did you touch it? It was <laughs> evident. <laughs> wait, wait, say what? It was what? It was what? Yeah, it was I was working on the crime scene. And it was <laughs> oh, my oh, oh, hey, that's a good one. Said, oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, automatically. <laughs> She's she's all in the wrong now. There's guys out there like toxic that. level one thousand. Wow. Yeah. Wow. He said, "Why did you touch?" There's me? guys out there that will do it. Like they will tell you, "Okay, <laughs> Why? okay, you caught me cheating, but babe, listen. What do you think that you did that made me act like that?" There's nothing anybody can do that will make you. Che- if if you're a cheater, evidence. I think you would cheat anyway. You're mad. If you Man's if you evidence. if you cheated. So you, so what's the but, what, how do you handle those situations then? How do you how do you because obviously. No, she <laughs> believed it, but that's it. He so how, in that situation, they're unique. Like, what what's a guy meant to do? Like in that situation, he being bad, like whatever. Like, so what what's he meant I to do? I think own up to it, man. <laughs> own up to up, it. Man. I know it's easier said than done. Like you've been caught in the act. I think the easier thing to do is just own up to it. Like, listen, I I think yeah, as as funny as it sounds, and this might sound toxic, but I think if you have the conversation to say, do you know what, babe? This is what I'm struggling with, and I'm genuinely like struggling I'm, with what cheating. Yeah, like because some mm, people mm. genuinely struggle with it. Let's not dismiss that. Yeah. Some people genuinely. Would you believe have him issues. if he said he's, he's struggling with it? No, but this is what I'm saying. That's up to me then. Give me the choice at least. Give you know, me the choice what, you know is, to bro. be like, I want to stay or I want to go. But some people don't even Ooh. give you the choice. 
they start telling you that you are mad, even though you've got evidence. They're literally looking at you in the eyes and going. But word on the road, if it was it, word on the road, if you catch word, on, word on the road, word on the road, if you catch your partner cheating, you're supposed to just blow, end it, it's done, go, mm. everyone, go, blow up. For me, yeah, personally, I was sick. there's no second chances, bro. If you want a cheater, you're always a cheater. So you say you can't. Really, you you yeah, probably have done, to be bro. in the situation for you to make that decision. Yeah, because I feel, I feel that, like it's it's hard. You to can say. actually say, "Oh, I'm gonna bro. walk away," but once yeah, but you're in that's there, what I'm saying. It's I different. It's, it's be... different for each individual. Okay, let's let's try. It's, it's, it's like, like if they catch you cheating, boom, you're gone. That's it. No, but let's let's say. But if you ask me now, I'll be like, yeah, like. But I'm not gonna trust you again. But let's say though. Let's say I think it's I think it's um. Like Bella Lee said, you have to be in the situation to know what you're going to do. Like, for example, right now, you could be like, oh, you're cheating. This is that. If you cheat, I'm gone. But then we have to admit that life is all about balance. We have to admit that there are certain people mm, that mm, do mm, push mm, their mm. partners to go outside. They do push their partners to look Is that outside. not toxic? And it's, I don't know if it's toxic. Mm. I think it's... Okay, so let's say for example... I don't know, I think think we need to open a bracket on that one. Is that not a toxic? How do you push someone to go cheat? Okay, let's say for example, not to cheat, but it's what what we were saying the other day about guys randomly coming into the workplace and complimenting somebody, yeah? So if I, for example, as a female, right, Mm, I'm mm, with mm. my partner, you never compliment me. You never notice when I do my hair. You never notice when I do my nails. Mm. And I go to work and this random guy sees Mm. me every day and he's like, oh, Roy, you've got your hair done. You've got your nails done. You look really nice, you know. Mm. I don't hear these things from my partner. So even though I don't Mm. want to, the more I hear it, the more I'm like, oh, all right then, that's kind of sweet. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm like, okay, <laughs> what, do you want to grab mm-hmm. lunch? Like, it's, it's, it, I don't know, it just it just happens. But this is not because mm-hmm. I want to cheat. Like, I know it, yeah. this, it sounds mad. I don't think there's a, a, a right or wrong answer to mm-hmm. this. It's just like, I think it's down to the individual. It's like, I don't think I want to cheat. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, the circumstances where it's mm-hmm. like, okay, the wrong thing would be to mm. not have the conversation with my partner. If I've never told my partner, listen, babe, you don't compliment me. Mm. It makes me feel this way. If we've never had that compliment, it's a different story. Then I'm just mad. But if we've had mm. that conversation over and over and over again and nothing's been done about it. Mm. Listen, if this next guy, I always mm. say, yeah, when you're in a relationship, in my opinion, mm. you should never leave room for anybody to come and tell your girl something that she's never heard before hey, from you. Hey. So, for example, your girl should be able to hear someone say, oh, babe, you're beautiful, you know, all right, well, mm. it's nothing new. My man tells me that every day. Mm. Oh, babe, you're handsome, you know, okay, it's all right. My girl tells me that every day. Hey. It should literally be like that. But some yeah. people, you will just leave the gap. Oh, yeah, she's all right, isn't it? Yeah, hey. That's my babe. You're just so comfortable in your relationship that someone else will come and say, oh, you're beautiful, you're beautiful every day. And then your girl's like, okay, <laughs> I didn't know that. I'm beautiful okay. as well. Okay, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a new lipstick is MAC, by the way. Did you, like, well. did you know what mark, you mark, mark, it's, mark. Yeah, I think it's about balance. It's and like Bellamy said, you have to be in those situations yeah. to know what works for you mm, and mm, your mm. relationship. Yes. So don't don't take my word for it. That's just so what are you saying? Mean. If there's an influence out there saying, oh, someone's cheated, walk away, run. You're saying, That's take it with a pinch of salt. I think do what well, works for you. Tell them, shut advice, up. But they're not going to be able motiva- to take it. Or not just an influence, like a motivational <laughs> speaker. Yeah. They'll tell what you, you do this themselves. Why are you speaking they're struggling themselves in their relationships. Listen, it's... They might even be single, bro. It's the girls that are screaming, babe, how dare he talk to you like that? And they're the ones that will get spoken to like that and they'll say, they'll this is the last cool time. Him. Don't do it again. Mud, 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 mud. I swear. This is the last time. This and then they'll come back again. This is like the 10th time. I swear. Valentine is coming. Nobody wants to be lonely. <laughs> Nobody Valentine. wants to be by themselves. Mm. But also, I think it's important to remember, <laughs> don't compromise who you are. Yeah. Just for the sake of Valentine. For it will for come for every year. And um, just goals, make sure that one day, happy. One I just day. want to make sure that yeah. everybody's happy. But on that topic, though, mm. what are we all doing for Valentine's Day? What is that? What is that? <laughs> hey, it's a pandemic, isn't it? What can you do? It's a pandemic. Ooh, you're that, gonna be. Like, do you know what? Be creative. That's even better. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm better saying. It's a, pa- points, it's a pandemic, bro. so you're gonna get creative within your be home creative, environment, man. isn't it? Do you know what I mean? For reals, for I might reals. just be in Jamaica. What, what, are, what are some ideas that you would give to people who are lacking a bit on the creative? Do you know side? what? I heard of the first one recently: Zoom dates. Oh, that's a bit dead, man. I can't <laughs> lie to you, man. Parachute <laughs> off your drop, bro. The, the whole, it's, it's dead. Man. It's 
<laughs> really dead. I don't know. No, but what can you do if you're in a long distance relationship? What's it, you know what? People are just calling all these things Zoom, Teams, whatever. What's the difference between that and FaceTime or WhatsApp call? Anyway, man, it's two mm, things are dead, well, man. It's, it's, I don't know. Like, it's just on a different. Pl- it, it, it's video call on a different platform. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So it makes you, them feel more professional. Yes. It's, it's just. Well, whatever it is, yeah. whatever Zoom What's team popping, is a video, it? <laughs> video call. It's yeah. professionalism, yeah. that's what it is. If it works for some people, some people happen to be in long distance relationships. I hear yeah, them. What can they do? I hear them. That's nah. it. Mm. I think it's about But so what then class. on that, like what, Um. okay, a Zoom date, but what would a typical Zoom date be? What would be your recommendation? For hey, you're on mute. A Zoom date. You're on mute. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Hi, babe? Hi. could you just... What's that, could babe? You just, <laughs> hi, babe. <laughs> I can't, hear you. I can't hear you. I'll say, uh, hello, how's things? I said, say? how's things? How's things? <laughs> <laughs> what? How's, how's things? Oh, my how's God. Things? Is your mic even on? <laughs> this connection. Though. Say that again. <laughs> Reconnected. <laughs> I think... Um, you if, froze. If it's a video, mm-hmm. video, whatever, FaceTime, Zoom, Your whatever mute, whatever you want to use... Um, yeah, I think just go all out. If you both go all out. decide... Mm-hmm. All out in terms of you can still send each other gifts. Yeah. Yeah. You can decorate gifts. the area mm-hmm. where you will be. Yeah, gifts or gifts? Gifts. <laughs> gifts. Gifts. With gifts. With the tea or gifts? Gifts. 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 That's what I'm saying. So, is a gift with a T and S or G I F? Oh, gift. Because okay. we're talking That'd about Zoom in. No one gifts. says gifts. gifts. No, I'm just saying we're talking about Zoom in it, so you got to make sure. That way, oh, you know, you know what I mean. You, you know, didn't get that went on you. Ah. That went on top. That went over your head, didn't it? That went over <laughs> your head. Yeah, but yeah, that um, went over your yeah, head. You can always, yeah, and you open it at the same time. Oh. Uh, you decorate the area where you're gonna be, oh. and you just mm-hmm. play some games. Or you can have yeah. Yeah. Have a talent show or whatever. It's just something fun. You, that I is mean, so cute. Only oh. you two know your relationship, so yeah. you know what you two like. So. And, and the good, and the good thing about, and the good thing about um, Zoom is. You can actually be anywhere. So if obviously you can't travel right now, <laughs> you can be in Brooklyn. That's you can, it. That's you, can, it. You, can, you can be in Brooklyn. You can be on the beach. You can be on the beach. Exactly. 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 You can be on that's the it. beach. So that's that's um, good stuff. Or you could right even, there. if at home, you could have a party. By yourself, yeah? No, with your partner. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, because we talk about Zoom. No, that was that. No, I already the, my, the yeah, Zoom yeah, suggestions yeah. already gave okay, yeah. that, yeah. and um, I'm just talking about other suggestions that you could do. Yeah. If you are party animals, you could have a party yeah. in your house. Party yeah. By yeah. In the pandemic, you know, in the pandemic, um, play a little bashment, little slow jams. I don't know. Anyone else got any more ideas? Yeah. If you live together, you can give. Mm. Oh, so oh. what's the clap, man? Press it, press it for her. A little spark, okay. Bella Lee, a little spark, dear. Bella Lee. What is she pressing? What kind of DJ are you? A little spark, dear. A little cocktail making. Yeah, Sarge. cocktail making. There's, or, there's um, a lot, man. There's a lot. Yeah, um, movie night. Movie night. Set up a little. Set up a little. Yeah, set up a little. Um, like. Tent, camping, little okay. indoor camping Okay, thing. okay. Yeah, um, yeah. That sounds dope. Tent in the living room. Yeah, that's that's on lit, man. Yeah, that's proper. Yeah. I don't know. With me, I just I don't know because I'm well, speaking for me anyway. It depends. If you're very playful, then just play some games. You know, you have Twister. You have play. all these Duck play it. <laughs> I didn't see. <laughs> <things>. <laughs> I didn't see. Killer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's just a few ideas, really. But oh, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's good. That's good. That's good. Idea. That's good. Yeah. Hey, you guys, taking notes. Just like down. obviously if you're watching us you know what I mean you're by yourself or you're with your partner these are some of the things that you can do you know what I mean so take notes man take notes maybe for next year as well large up females they're very creative when it comes yeah to I think they're better I can't lie kids. I can't lie they're better than guys so. creativity oh, better than guys you should love like, oh. guys, guys don't even <laughs> nah guys <laughs> like, it's, not, yeah. it's not like we do it on it's purpose it's just something small <laughs> <laughs> you, you're you know thinking about it like it's just the day when that then it's it yeah, because when I tell you to be yeah. creative, you Come need to. Don't <laughs> no, but I, I don't blame. I don't. I also don't blame guys, man. We we do try sometimes, but we just can't get there. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's, hey, that's some very like, creative guys. Man bought a ring, you know that. That's it. Man bought a ring. <laughs> <laughs> The brain just did quick and grab. That's it. That's as far as you can go, fam. Nah, yeah. I heard her talking about these these cups. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm looking forward to it because this one's gonna be a bit different. It's gonna be a bit. Oh, it's gonna be a bit weird. Like, but you know, I think just, just. Yeah, and even, the, even the even idea of have, just being mm, getting even creative. If you don't have and, a Valentine, you know, you still have your friends there. 
if your friends, if every, you know, your friends oh. are single. Cook her food, well. man. You have your friends there. I also, I also, one thing that I think though, I have to mention because I saw this. I think it was on like the Daily Mail or something. Mm. Yeah, guys, you actually don't have to break the bank. Yeah, you oh, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you man. do not have to do it. You literally, you can be creative. So, man, are trying to get me, that new Chanel bag. I, I think for me, it's about and love up. and stuff like that. When we when we look at the. Um, <laughs> Clara, pay yeah, sometimes late. I think we overdo <laughs> it. Like, sometimes I think we overdo it. Can you get that Chanel and Clara? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you can get somebody's <laughs> a, a present and stuff like that. But I'm very, like, I'm very sentimental. So, it's, oh. it's all about the experience for me and memories oh. that last. Please you can get me. You can give me money, you can give me like gifts and stuff like that. I won't say no, but of course it's it's more about the intimacy and like being, you know, creative and creating lasting memories. It's not just about breaking the bank to buy that Gucci bag and stuff like that. So you can just buy that Gucci bag, put wow. it in the post, and then I don't even get to see you. On you that won't bag. be welcome on Clubhouse, boy. It's, 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 <laughs> you won't, <laughs> with that kind of talk, you won't be welcome. Hey, you're shaking tables. Well, then those, that does Bless fall on the the understanding your partner's love language. Yeah. Mm. So mm. Mm. Oh. If yeah, if she likes it. expensive stuff, you should have known what you signed up yeah. for. <laughs> yeah, that's a madness. Yeah, man that do that. I, I, I yeah. Mean, yeah, but you know, what's your take on these kind of ladies, though, settling with a regular guy who's got nine to five? But you like all these expensive things. Don't do it. That's but you're set. No, no, but she's set. She's gone for this Why guy. No, but that's what you, you, you don't, don't do it to. Don't all do I'm it. saying is, please if, just don't leave another guy on. Do you know what you what know? He, if you know that he's I not hear this. able to fulfill what you mm. want and mm. need, why are you still? Why, why are you with that guy? Why are you even it. going as far as still going on dates with that guy that's to the point where he asks you to be his girlfriend and you say yes to the point where you're now in like one year couple months six months Yo, relationships yeah. mm. and you know that this maybe guy's not fulfilling maybe you. live in a house yeah, shout out yeah. 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 you know this guy's not fulfilling yeah. like mm, mm, money mm, wise mm, you know that mm, this guy mm. go and find yourself someone who's got money that's true. if it's what? that easy i read i read um I read is it not easy at all Mate, no. depending on what you call money. I yeah. thought if it was beautiful and, and them things. That's it. The thing is, I think I read um, I read a book that basically spoke about how it's not fair for you to get with somebody who from the get go you know isn't what you want and then try to change them. It's just not fair. If you yes. like money and you go get with somebody with who money. doesn't have money and then now you're asking them to give you all these things and they've told you from the get go, babe. Listen, I'm struggling here. It's not fair. It's Bro, just you not, what's fair. not fair. Do you have like, money? Do you have it? <laughs> have you money. No, I like that one. Uh, GK, GK, I like that one. Oh, you know? Do you have money? Girls just have... talk, you know. Girl, girls just talk. What? Just hey, talk. Hey, hey, hey. Someone, someone, oh. someone, 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 someone got sacked. Someone got sacked. Chinese, Japanese, I don't know. Yeah, he got sacked for saying girls talk too much. Um... I, I, oh, hey, listen, I ain't got a trim yet. Yeah. You, man, for well, the regrowth is a bit mad. I'm about to scratch my hair. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Island team. The angles. <laughs> <laughs> Columbus trying to find out. Oh, yeah. Einstein. <laughs> what do you say? He got sacked for um for saying women talk too much. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. Too much. And he's not wrong. Pardon? He's not wrong. No, oh, be, careful. Too much. Yeah. Yeah. be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> do you know what it is? Yeah, I think, do you think women talk too much? They do. I'm yes, just going to say, not. based on certain they experiences, do. I just think, you know what? Women are always right. <laughs> <laughs> and this is coming from women. Do you know what? No, do you know what? No. Women just, <laughs> we love communicating. No, no, no. Well, you we express yourself yeah, we express more. I think more, much more compared to And sometimes, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's some 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 I won't lie. I, I will repeat no, a few things a hundred times. Let's be appropriate. I will say something. And when I see that it's getting to you, or I'm seeing that, I'm, I'm like, yeah, let me say this again. Yeah, you up the Yeah, you up the Listen, everybody does this, yeah? It's the prayer. The prayer. <laughs> oh. The prayer warriors. Listen. So well, you I want to hear this. Well, you've done something. You know it's your fault, Girls yeah? are evil, fam. And now Tell everybody's me. gone mad. So your man's gone mad now. And at night, hello? <laughs> you all right? How's your day? The prayer. Okay, ah. so are you ready? We're going to pray. Father God, help us. Yes, yes, yes. Help yes. us to love help each us other. To let go of no. No. And, and Father God, if there's anything that we've done, Lord, bro, bro, help bro. us forgive each other in love. And above all, and above all, <laughs> love. <laughs> love conquers. Nah, do you know what? You are fine. You are fine. You are fine. Some women, some women, yeah. yeah. Some women, yeah. yeah. 
I, I don't know if it's I actually I can't say all of them, but some women, yeah, it's like when they do something wrong, they expect to, they expect they expect you to just like brush it aside. They will just come and say, oh yeah, sorry about, and just just brush it aside. But when you do something wrong, <laughs> it's oh my like, god, yeah, the way and they stop throwing an attitude like sounds personal. You're still mad. Oh, sounds personal. Sorry though. Sounds <laughs> sorry, and it's better to just is... brush it aside. No, no. I right, listen. You I'll tell I'll tell you a funny joke. Yeah, there was one time. Yeah. There was one time. Go on then, go on then. Listen, so there was one time. Go on then. Let's have it then. Let's have it. Let's have it. Let's have it. Let's have it. Go on then. There was one time. <laughs> Let's have it then. There was one time, yeah, I got into a misunderstanding with my partner, yeah, and I started, <laughs> and I knew I was in the wrong, so I started walking fast, and I was shaking my head, <laughs> and he goes, why are you shaking your head? This is me. I didn't shake my head. <laughs> and then it turns was, to, why I are you shaking. shouting? I was like, come on. Shouting? I didn't shake my head. I didn't. I just went like this. I didn't shake my head. People but the whole lying. time, I knew that I did shake my head. And it's just like, uh, this emotional. is bad. Is but, uh, you don't yeah, need man. to start. Like, All right, so, not, so obviously like, we're trying to... Your wrongs, bro. Yeah, yeah, so so what are you saying? about You know what? It's funny you said that. I think women just don't like accepting, they taking don't. L's, they you don't. know? But so a wise man, a wise man, a wise man once said, a once, a wise man once once said, women are always right. Women are always right. Say, which wise man? Bent us to the north star. That's a fool. <laughs> a wise man once said, women are always right. So. Always keep on going on until you tell her that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Bro, you know what? Say that again. Say that again. Say that again. You know what? I get it. Nivelive. Say that again. She said, "Go on, say it again." Say again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> see, they talk too much. They talk too much. Exactly. I want will keep on going yeah, until you yeah. tell her that. Yeah, yeah you. Do you know right. what it is? I think. Oh uh, yeah, women are always right, man. Women are always. Yeah, you're right. Still, what you said makes sense. Yeah? I want to ask guys, <laughs> like, when a woman's telling you something, mm-hmm. do you guys generally not hear us, <gasps> or do you hear and act mad? <laughs> and it's or also like, with yo. texting as well. You will text them something, yeah? Oh, and or you say, ask them I, three questions, they'll answer one out of the three questions. Yeah, 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 Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Is that simple? Yes. We leave this one out to the followers. What do you say? We leave this one out to the followers. Let me ask. Let the, me ask the, the followers got to answer guys, that guys, on the gram or on, the, the, you, on YouTube. If you can comment, yeah? Please help us. Yeah, guys got a comment help on this us, one. please. Do you guys generally <laughs> have the, lack the ability to answer three hey, questions? Hey, why are we? I feel attacked. So I could literally be like... That's, so why is it that the other day you ignored me? Expressing yourself. Yeah, so your you know, heart, I could literally ask you. Get, I could be busy. And you get, <laughs> and just like, oh, I hear that. Exactly, yeah. I hear that. So oh, I, I could literally ask you, ask you something. I could have injured my knee. Yeah, I'll yeah. give you an example. Yeah. What? I could say something like, and I want the guys to answer this. So I could say something like, oh, um, I just feel like you're ignoring me. I feel like the other day what you did was just unnecessary. And... I just feel like, you know, we need to have a chat or whatever. And then you reply, I wasn't ignoring you the other day. Okay. What about the other two that I said to you? Please, I need answers. Why is it, do you guys generally have the... Why you, it's, why about, it's about... It's about... But that's the one, one maybe in, in oh, order... Wrap it, what do you think wrap it up and move on. That's what it's about. Why are you asking me for That's what it's about. We're wrapping it up and move on. Wrapping it up. It feels <laughs> like... It feels... Time, because because the, the first one, the first one is likely to be the most important one. And you know what I mean? We go by the uh, that order. You know what I'm saying? Why did you ignore me the other day? I feel like, hold on a second. I didn't ignore you. Mm. And you, we know you You know we're going to talk eventually. Cool. But I didn't ignore you. I want to get that out of there. I didn't yeah. ignore you. Well, so like maybe that's why. Isn't it? I maybe that's why. Maybe I just didn't have anything well, to say. Exactly. Like, chronological. Okay. And I think females need <laughs> to realize. Most important. To the least. <laughs> but anyway, we leave that to the guys. We leave that to the, the guys in the comments. and okay. in, in the comment section. Yeah, you know, guys, they answer that help us. Because I genuinely want to know. Because sometimes. Okay, question. Question, yeah? Question. Yes. Question. Um, okay, I think this is for both yeah. guys and girls, but I want the guys to answer first because I think the ladies, we've spoken too much before they... Talking they, too much. Before, yeah. they before the, the so Erica Badu lot come yeah? No, actually, this one is more for the ladies. Oh, oh no. Here the, we go again. The, actually, okay, it doesn't matter. Both. I think it's you guys are always right anyway. Does it matter? Okay, do you think the person who wakes up first should text first? To say good morning first? Or it doesn't matter when, like, whoever does it. Doesn't it don't matter, matter man. Don't think it matters. Why does it matter, man? How are you going to know I woke up first? Word. Because I could wait. Are you going to Where are we going with this? Are you going to know I woke up first? No, it's a genuine question because some people could genuinely, like, and I'm saying this because 
I, you know, I've I've seen it. Like some people will wake up, mm. for example, go about their day. Ex- for example, if you both have to go to work, yeah, you get up, get ready Trying for to get work, to work, go first. whatever. You're probably rushing or whatever. Mm. You forget to say good morning. Some people genuinely have an issue with that. Mm. As in, like, okay, so you woke up, you got on the bus, you did yeah. all of that, and you didn't even say good morning. Mm. I think you know what. I, I, th- I think one of the things that I, <laughs> I think one of the things that um. I, I I don't know about GK yeah or any of or JK GK and GK stick me now man to tongue twisting. Big um, Jono, big Jono. <laughs> um, I think I think for me one of the things that I've learned personally is just that communication. Just I don't know. You could you could the tip I can give to someone who might take a tip for me is that as you're making your way to work, you could diffuse the situation just by saying. Hey, I just woke up. I'm making my way to work. I'll text you when I get in. Have a good day. Or, hey, I just woke up. It's going to be a long day for me. When I get some time, I'll text you. Have a good day. I hope you're all right. So you kind of left it in a situation where she knows you're busy. So even if she replies, she knows that, okay, if he, if he doesn't reply, he's busy and he's told me already. Or, I don't know, but I don't think... You, you might not even get the time to do that. You might not even get the time to do that. This is what I'm trying to say. I don't think... Do you know what? In life, I came to understand that you know what, whoever woke, whoever, we're in a relationship, yeah, it might get, it might be in a situation where we're both thinking about each other, or it might be a thing where he's waiting for you to text, or she's waiting for you to text, and that no one ends up texting, so, <laughs> now it happens, it, <laughs> now, I don't think it's childish, if you're awake, morning, if you're awake, like, this is what, this is, this is what I'm trying to say, this is what I'm trying to say, she, she, it's the same way, no, like how she, it happens, it happens. Yeah, I might be thinking, especially in the talking stage, yeah. because a guy might be thinking, you know what, I've been writing to her a lot, yeah. I'm going to wait for her it to happens. show, yeah. it happens, yeah. it happens. Yeah. these things happen, yeah. so, yeah. if you're talking about talking stage, yeah. Yeah. but it happens anyway, even in a relationship, even, even a relationship yeah. it happens yeah. like, hold on yeah. a second, yeah, the, yeah it happens. these things are, mm-hmm. do you know what, this is what I'm saying, do you know what, it's, I'm fu- uh, it's funny because Unique mentioned, mentioned this, because I actually mentioned this today on my Insta. Life is all about balance, man. There's positive, there's negative. I know some of us think a certain way, but there's also people that think in a different way. Or some of us are used to a certain scenario, but there's also people out there that live life, you know, view things in a completely different way. So in the same way where someone will wake up, yeah, and think, you know what, I'm going to text my babes first before I even go brush my teeth. Or I'm, whilst I'm in the toilet, you know, doing my thing, you know, I'm just going to text her good morning and then I'm going to get busy and do mm. go about my day. And then I'm going to check on her again and what, whatever, whatever. You know, because some people don't even get to use their phones at work. Some people don't have that freedom. Mm. So they any the opportunity they get to text their partner, they'll do that quickly, mm. say everything they need to say, and then wrap it up. Or some people actually prefer not to talk throughout the day mm. because at the end of the day, they want to have a lot to say. Lot to so there's say. different scenarios to this. So my thing, what I was trying to say is, I think just do what, at that time, if you're in a relationship with someone, understand that you're in a partnership with someone. So if you think about that person in that particular moment, it could even be just you expressing yourself and how you feel in that particular moment. Hey, how you doing? I'm just thinking about you right now, but I'm making my way to work. I'm driving right now, or I'm in a shower right now. It's going to be a long day right now. I'll message you. I'm in a meeting. I mean, whatever it is, just let them know. But I think you got to look beyond the text though it's not about the text message it's about the effort it's about the other person receiving that message knowing that okay my partner's thinking about me right now my partner appreciates me right now and you know has taken the time to you know message me i think that's one thing that i've learned today you know what i'm trying to say and like you know not today but i'm just talking about i mean when i'm to this day and age, this day and age today, you know what i mean okay. so i think i think just communication goes a long way i think as guys sometimes we just want to fight man we just want to you know, we I think whoever wake like to answer your question, unique. Whoever's awake, whoever's got the phone at hand in that particular time, yeah. just yeah. message. It might be that you message good morning and you, it comes at the same time because you was thinking about each yeah. other at the same time. Yeah, yeah. It is what it is, man. It's or the even the random. Either. I'm thinking about you. What happened to the old days? Like you know, I remember when you know when we was growing up. Hey, thinking about you right now. <laughs> That random text used to be like, right, I'm not <laughs> like, thinking about you right now. Okay. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> some people, some, I, to add on to that, actually, some people um, find it more like depending on how you write. So to some people, they write morning. Some people write good morning, and then to some people, they take that wrongly. Yeah. If you just send me a morning, I'm thinking some people will probably think 
What's wrong with you? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Some yeah, people yeah, send yeah, good yeah. morning and comments. they're like, okay. Some people send you know what? But you know what? I always think about now. it this way. I always think about <laughs> it this way. Like, nice emojis. Like, nice emojis to go no, with it. Oh, I always think about it this way. Adding an X. Yeah, an X. Yeah. Do you know what? What does that X mean? I never understood. Oh, my God. It looks nice. It looks nice. I used to have that. Um, I used to have that issue until I realised, like, I have to think of it as the conversation, right? So, for example, if you say something like, good morning, babe, and the person replies, good morning, I used to have an issue with that. What do you mean, good morning? I've just said, good morning, babe. Are you oh mad? My Can you not come back <laughs> and say, I mean. good morning, baby, you Take her sweet. to rehab. I love you. <laughs> and I mean. no but do you know what? On that note, though, yeah, I think back in the days, people used to just text a lot because that they probably had five text messages. So in that one occasion, they got to express themselves and say everything they yeah. needed no, to. They I just let it all out. Now people got unlimited texts and unlimited calls. I don't need to say it all no, out. I've got I mean, time. It's about I've got knowing time. Your, your, your partner, though. Mm. Mm. I really struggle with that. I think I sound awkward when I say things like, babe, you what, babe, you what, honey. Like, I think I think I really sound awkward you what? saying it. Why do you, I, think, I, think, I had to check myself the other day. I think you why really got to know what your... The what the hell? Why are we calling each other? Why do people call them each other baby and babe? Because it's sweet, man. I hate oh, babe. Why? Because, babe. okay, because you, you what? what do you want them to say? What, what do you, what would name, you want your girl to say to you? <laughs> Good morning, Randy. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you like, want don't. What? what? <laughs> Daddy, I think, I think daddy, it's just <laughs> right? Like, no, you know what? I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> guys. I'm, I'm, I'm saying this yet. You take it. Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> take it daddy. for free. Take, not my dad. take this from a few. Yeah. Sure, Girls, daddy. sometimes, sometimes <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Sometimes I don't like phone calls. I like texts because, you know, on your lunch sometimes you sit there and read over the texts like. <laughs> especially what? The, oh, especially if you wake up to like a long text you know what I don't know what I'll be without you <laughs> you think I said, well. this is what I was saying I'm the one that makes your life better <laughs> you need to what? know that you literally right, sometimes need to phone know. calls are just long man. yeah they are I can't lie especially but, but, bed like but you, you gotta communicate that though you especially if you live together but weirdly, it's like, <laughs> for me anyway, I don't know if anyone else can relate, but for me sometimes it's not, I can, I want to be on the phone with you, but I don't want to talk. Yeah. I just want Your you presence. to be there. Yeah. yeah. I just want you to be there. I'm well, getting on with what I'm doing. <laughs> no, no but that's, that's it's nice. just your stool. Yeah. Like, what's that? Yeah. You're chopping onions, yeah? No, you need to talk. Like, <laughs> you can be doing what you're doing. I'm yeah. doing what I'm doing, but we're just on the phone. Yeah. Breathing? It's just Literally, we're doing. just yeah. on the phone. I'm breathing. I'm breathing. I'm breathing. Hey, that's a madness, you know. What's that damn baby? You got that cough? I'm hello, coughing. Hello. That's a madness. Actually, nah, do you know what? I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I think that is sweet. I think I like it's cute, but I'm just thinking, right, that is long. It's not. Long. I get it, de- it depends sure, on the individual. <laughs> yeah, yeah. every once in a while you get, you get the. Yeah, it depends on your relationship. <sighs> it's yeah. sweet. It's sweet. So what? Just there, like that? Like. Yeah, just literally. But it's not like I'm stopping you from. You just get on with your business. <laughs> Alright, that is long. I'm no, some, some I can't lie. Like, for me, that is long. For, I'm speaking for me. Yeah. <laughs> that that, yeah, that would be long right. still. You might get a lucky McKinzer. What? You might hear a lucky McKinsey. <laughs> just to break the silence. That's just me. Yeah, no, that is long still. Depends on the dynamics of your No, I think I, I get what you mean. I definitely Yeah. That is long still. Because it's not, cause especially at night. Yeah, because there's only so much comfort. you can say. Okay, please. You say it and then... What? How do you wow. keep the romance alive? And the t- It's keeping in the theme of Valentine's. How do you keep the romance oh, alive if you live together? Please. Oh, I, I think you know what even, you don't even have to you don't even have to live I think you don't even have to live with each other I think I think what one thing people forget is that if you're going to live with your partner beyond the beyond the the, the, the emotional uh, sort of feelings in terms of like that connection and stuff like that I think one of the first thing is I, I hear people that live with their partners and tell me they don't find their other half physically attractive like that yeah. that is crazy bro you need to be able to see your partner you wake up one day and you just see them and you're just like oh, i like that i like I, I like i like the way you i like that do that again like um, and just you know what i mean like, the, the way you keep your the, the romance alive i think for me it's just that um i think you would know in it i think you would know that it gets to a stage where you would know that you know what the past week or two weeks things haven't been the the way we would want it to be so you then do things to 
reignite that fire again. So it might just be small things like sit together, watch a movie and laugh about it. And then again, boom, you have that connection. It might just be um, you order some... T- it, it depends, isn't it? I think, but I think you need to be in tune to understand that what's going on. Because more time, like I said this before, you will know. You will know that, you know, she's not happy or he's not happy. So what can I do to make things to spark things again. I yeah. think you just need to know, like Bella Lee said, you just need to understand, be in tune with the moments and know your partner's love language, you know what I mean? And not even, you don't even, yeah, you need to know their love language, but at the same time, I think one thing we forget is that we get comfortable. That's what I'm looking for. We just get comfortable and you think, oh, she ain't going to go nowhere. He ain't going to go nowhere. So yeah, I can, you know, do what I need to do. No, we don't understand. <laughs> I appreciate. But, you know, I think, just just listening just understanding you know like for example i'm blessed to i speak for me i don't i can't speak for anyone else i'm blessed to have like a, a big family on both sides so my, my 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 wife's got um a big family i got a big family so i have the luxury of being able to being able to my kids since they were born they're quite close with their grandparents so they can just go to their grandparents for two days three days and during that time away Yes, it's time for me to catch up with myself, but it's also time for me to catch up with my partner. And it's also time to, to do things that we normally wouldn't do if the kids were in the house. In terms of like, just maybe just sitting down, cuddling and just watching a film and laughing about it. You know, just having that peace, that quiet moment is actually, you know, I think you just need to just just, just watch the environment, innit? You will know. You will know. And I think you will feel it. We talk about vibrations and we're talking about vibes and energy. Chakras. And chakras. chakras. You will just know. I think you will just know that if you if if we all check ourselves, you will just know, like, listen, things haven't been the way that they normally will be. Mm-hmm. Maybe because I've been busy, Work. maybe because she's been busy, or this and that. So what can we do? Okay, let's just put our phones away tonight. We're watching a film. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And sometimes it's all about compromising, you know, just meeting halfway. You know, I don't really want to do this, but I'm going to do this because it makes her happy. I don't want to watch some movie like called, um, you know that Black Rose that like, you lot are talking about? Yeah. I predicted the whole script Way yeah, before, I, I swear to you, I predicted the whole script before it ended. And wow. I was telling her at each That's stage, something. we was watching that film. I didn't really care about the movie like that. But I watched it because she was so passionate about the movie. I really just wanted to sleep. I had assembly in the morning. I just wanted to go and rest. But I was up till 1am one, two, one a.m. or something like that. Just watching it. I never watched Hollywood. No, no, no. But the thing, the thing with me, I, could, I can predict. Uh, more time, I, I can predict the scripts. I can predict it. I know, like, when I watch it... I yeah, can... it was a bait. It was a bait one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, I think, anyway, to sum it up, you just read the room. What? Just read the room. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's important. Just read the room. That's what? good. Show just love, read the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, show love, give love as well. Show love, give love. Show I like love, that. give love. Play I like partner. that. Yeah. Love because... Like. You know what my dad once said, yeah? Happy. Sorry, Niv. You know what, what my dad once said, like, your woman is like... <laughs> your, your, your woman is like a flower. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So what that means is when you have a plant, when you have a flower in your house, you got to make sure that you're watering her all times because, you know, if, if you don't look after it, it will get dry. That's one thing I take from that man. I take that from that man. And he, he, he was busy, but I think he always made time, he always made time for his woman. You know what okay. I mean? That, so if, so you're never too busy. Yes, yeah. so he always made time. That's okay, so, that's, so that's, women, that's, that's, that one would go in now. <laughs> <laughs> so if women are flowers, what are choking. men then? <laughs> Grass. Men are... <laughs> men. <laughs> men. <laughs> men. <laughs> Cardi B, Cardi B, <laughs> tweet or something like that. Like, what she said? Grass. Men are kings. Nah. Are we kings, yeah? I appreciate. I appreciate. You're just saying I appreciate. You're just saying that. Yo, queen. Yo, whole queen, girl. You're the water watering us. Yeah. You're just saying that. You don't you're mean it. You're the sprinklers. What are you trying to say? <laughs> hey, the Erica Badu lot will come to you and say, without well, me, you're flowers, dead. Well, you're the sprinklers. Nah. It's your duty to water us. But <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I'm going to ask you this because one of the things that we're don't. trying to do, <laughs> one of the things that we got to try to do and be my guest here because we got people from all ages, all backgrounds following us. All right, what are the top tips from the women yeah, to the guys nowadays in this generation because have 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 the men lost their touch in terms of romance and stuff like that? Are the men too scared to express themselves and be romantic in this day and age? And the guys think about the bros too much. Thank right. you. Clap. We, the, that. Oh, sorry, come again. Sorry. The guys think about the bros too much. What do you mean? Stop it. Guys will want to do something for their girl. Yes. 
But because the bros think it's, what are you doing, bro? You'll be like, ah. Yes. Oh, word. Yes. 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 You will not marry your bros. Uh-huh. No. You know. Sub- do yeah. what you want to do, bro. Yeah. Don't think about the guys. I like that one. I like that. So, Don't think about the guys. So my question was then, so how, what are some of the things, some of the things that you can say to people in order for them to help them sustain a healthy relationship? in this 2021 because things are changing and things have changed compared to the last few years so how do you how do one maintains a healthy and romantic relationship listen and observe yes listen and observe what? And communicate listen, and be honest listen in terms of listen to what your your partner likes listen to how your partner's feeling mm-hmm. observe how your partner's acting mm-hmm. in order to you know be able to understand how they do you think? Do you think? What do you mean? Elaborate. Observe. <laughs> Grab the elaborate. <laughs> no, but wait, wait, wait. But what do you mean by mad? Because we gotta make mad. sure that we. we you're saying. Mad and observe. Yeah. Check out. And check out their body language, etc. What about if she's acting mad? How do you? How do you? How do you live with that? Me, what, what do you? What, this is the what, thing. What, you what's mad? Observe. You'll still observe. But what's mad? What's mad though? Yeah. Mad in mad in what, what sense? Yeah. What's mad? As in she never used to act Reckless. like that before, yeah, and then her attitude yeah, yeah, has changed. Yeah, yeah. She's dating someone. Yeah. She's she dating someone else, bro. Yeah. Then you gotta still yeah. observe. She's, she's, <laughs> she's dating someone else. Observe. To see if <laughs> nah, I'm joking. On, I'm joking. It might it might just be a temporary thing. If it carries on, it might be a seeking attention thing. She might be doing it to just cry out for attention. Yeah. Because girls do that a lot. Do you know what I'd advise? Yeah. Actually, I'm I'm not like one wise man or something that's like matters. my opinion matters yeah. you're on clubhouse what what this is this is for me this is what works for me yeah i just tend to sit back a lot and just watch okay observe. watch and observe and analyze Nigga. that's what that's what i do Fight. I, I just <laughs> nah i sometimes literally that's just i'm joking but but then again that's just how the, that's just the way i am i just sit back and watch things and what well, i need you to say you're laid back i'm pretty i'll say i'm pretty i'm very laid back and how, very late. How Me, I don't like problems. Find that? How does my partner find yeah, it? Yeah, being very laid back. Um, so, sometimes it, it is. It, I think it does irritate her. I think I'll speak from a, a guy to a bit, female. I th- I'll say females need to also understand that it's not every time that your partner must respond when you come with yes. an issue. Do you know what I'm saying? Can you clap so again? again? Come again? Clap for it's not every time that your partner you clap, you must clap. or will respond every time you come with an issue. So when you come with your issues. Don't it always expect a response. Yes. Yeah. Because I might not have anything to say at to you. At first instance. Yeah, young and bright. Yeah, young and bright. At the first instance. Yeah, young and bright. Yes. At the first instance. Yeah, young and bright. A lot of females tend to come with their issues, their problems. Oh, babe, I didn't like the way you done this and this and that. And do you expect me to re- to give you a paragraph there and then? No, yeah. I might not have it there and then. Give yeah, me young and bright. Oh, you want something. We've got the same mind. You want it. Yeah, young and bright. You want it. Yeah, young and bright. Yeah, young and bright. No. Yeah, young and bright. Yeah, young and bright. Time, to reflect on it. it, let it marinate. A lot of females, there are yeah, young and bright, yeah, young and bright. Because at that moment in time, I might say something that sounds mad to you, yeah, yeah you won't like it. I agree, exactly. I, no, I hear you. I, I might, mean, I might, I might, you. So, how would you diffuse that situation there in that, at that time? She's come, give him her, space, and then what are you gonna do? You're give him space, quiet. I think, no, say quiet, give him space. Sometimes I'll just acknowledge, yeah, you might need some time to think, yeah, acknowledge, give me time. Then, then this takes us back to time. communication. Yeah. Yeah. Communicate. <laughs> Babe, I've heard you. Communication is big. I've, I've heard you. Because you might come with Vim and then when I respond in an angry manner, it's an even bigger problem. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So just give communicate. Me time. We are communicating here. We yeah. are not strangers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, young and yeah, So yeah, you yeah, said young and listen and observe. Listen and observe. And then, yeah. GK, what did you say? I would say well, I would say mainly communicate communication. communication is very 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 young and bright yeah young and bright <laughs> like not young and bright. communication <laughs> that's that's the foundation of relationship. communicate it's true yeah. it's little little things like oh uh, babe i don't feel like speaking on the phone today <laughs> yeah i don't uh, babe i don't feel like speaking on the phone today mm. i'll rather text yeah that's mm. fine yeah that's mm. fine so if you don't call her she mm. knows, like, oh, he's, he, he told me that. He she to but she might just call you. She might just call you and find out why you don't want to talk on the phone. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, young and bright. Yeah, young and bright. Okay, okay. Oh, so man. unique. What yeah, do you young and I think it's your relationship is unique to you. Mm. Do what works for you hmm. and your partner. Okay? okay. Don't 
I think that there are certain things that we can't ignore in terms of like what people see from yeah, outside and flags. stuff like that that can tell you, mm. okay, I don't, I don't, this looks a bit funny. But we must all admit as well, there are certain things that looks funny to us but works perfectly fine for those relationships. Yes. So I think that you should do what works for you. And happiness is key. Oh, you crazy? If you are Big happy, oh. if you're if you're happy, that's all that matters, man. And you know, you it's need to learn to stand your issue. ground and yeah, just just be happy. I think that's that's with anything. Yeah, younger and like yeah, younger and like, Don't listen to your boys. Your yes. boys have their girls, and you know, before you know it, they'll be telling you, bro, don't have that, and then. So Valentine, relationship is come, over, and, then, and yeah. then you're by yourself, and they're cuddling up with the same girls that they told you. What she's dead, bro. It's she's dead. That. I won't have that. Mm-hmm. Man, them do that. Man, them, them, man, them actually need to stop doing that. Yeah, bro. You don't, you don't have a say in my relationship. It's bro. girls as well, though. It's oh, girls as well. Shit, no. girls man, enough girls give enough girls giving their 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 friends bad advice. Please, I think this this one thing that's been really irritating me this week. Let's stop with the if he loves you business. Yeah, young, young and bright. Yeah, young and bright. Stop it. Because at the end of the day, your if he loves you, yeah, is somebody from... else's he does love me. Yeah, young and so bright. So just yeah, stop bright. with all of that. If he loves you, he mm. would do this. If he loves you, yeah. he... we don't need it. We don't need that pressure. Okay? Stop it. okay. What works for my relationship is what works for me. Stop okay? It now. And I, somebody, somebody said something very valid the other day. It was actually a very, uh, uh, um, an, like elder person mm. they said if somebody comes to you and says sis your man is cheating blah 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 okay i've heard you next time you see us both say that same thing in front of both of us mm. don't come and tell me things behind his back all of that i know you're trying to look out for me but some people we have to be very careful Evil with what we eye. listen to red eye to red eye stuff. Yeah, young Amber, young let's, red not, eye. let's not look for problems where there is mm. no problems let's not create problems and self-sabotage good things you might end up ruining a good thing that you have because your friend told you that it doesn't look like her relationship mm. so don't do that do what works for you and be happy that's my that's my mm. okay okay so um Nivy lips what do you have to say um each as as unique has said each um, relationship is unique um no if you know the reason why you've got with your partner yes. the reason why your partner has chosen you and you know always remember that you know yeah always remember that and let that ignite the fire and let that ignite the love and yeah. never lose that vision um, that you've had with that person as well mm. honestly because you know in the midst of everything the midst of social media the midst of friends mm. the midst of you know everything that life may bring at you you know, you get to you. Sometimes you lose the main focus to why you are together. That's, that's it. it. Mm, 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 okay, love that. You. Okay, Belali, 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 take us away. Take us away. <laughs> 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 yeah, the main the main key here is communication mm-hmm. and just being honest with your partner. And if you like someone, I feel like you should go give your hundred percent. You shouldn't be questioning. Oh, mm, is she mm. gonna be? Is she the one or is she going to be, um, what is it? How can I say it? She's on probation. <laughs> yeah, or, yeah. You're like, you're restricting yourself. I'm just from seeing how it goes. You're going yeah, yeah, all yeah, out yeah, because yeah. you're like, I don't know. I think that's, mm. that's wrong. Like, mm. If you like someone, you know, you're attracted to someone. I feel like yeah. you should give your all. Mm. If it doesn't work out, that's fine. Mm. It's not everyone that you're supposed to be in a relationship mm. with or everyone mm-hmm. that you're supposed to work out with. Mm-hmm. So if it doesn't work out, you move out. I mean, mm. you move on. With move on. Move on. I mean, you're giving 200 there, bro. You move on. You move on with someone else. So mm. yeah, just go all out for go all out for the person that you're attracted to. Do be honest and yeah. Just attracted to. Yeah. I think yeah. one of the things that um I think one of the things people need to understand is that yeah there there there's always going to be someone out there that wants what you have and they will do anything and everything to either get what you have or break what you have so that's why every advice that you're given you have to take it with a pinch of salt and really weigh it out and say okay is this going to work for me obviously by all means look after yourself and make sure if you're in the madness of a situation you got to make the right decisions when people are telling you but it's not everybody that comes to you with some sort of advice or whatever that you're supposed to take, especially when it's to do with your relationship. I don't, I don't like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like this thing where mm, mm, guys mm. will say, oh, um, I'm going to wait for her to text me. I think that's... 
I think, do you know what? I, I don't know, man. I'm not going to lie. I think I'll back up the guys here. I think, yes, men do the pursuing. But I think sometimes as a guy, that's just reassurance that my pursuit is being acknowledged. It's not done in vain. So by me saying I'm going to wait for you to text me, it doesn't have to be an emotional text. Just the fact that you went out of your way to even say hello mm. means a lot. Because if I'm pursuing you, you remember pursuit, it kind of needs to be, the way I imagine it is like, come on, chase me then, chase me then. Okay, I'm chasing you, I'm chasing you. <laughs> like it, The way I see it is like that. But if I'm just running after you and you're not even turning around to look at how far I am or how close I am from you and you're not even encouraging me to keep doing it or telling me I can't catch you. Because the more you tell me you can't catch me, nah, 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 the more I want to yeah. go. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's, yeah, so that's the way I imagine the text. The text is like that encouragement to say, keep going. Like, I know. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Because girls would do that. They won't text me. Oh, not me. But I'm just talking. <laughs> Shit. God damn. I'm going to come you again. Girls would do that. They won't text you. And then I'm just, real, you know, generalizing. They won't text you. And then when things are all quiet, they start talking about, oh, I haven't heard about, I haven't heard from you You're for about two funny. days. You're moving you a bit funny. But I'm thinking, it's you just funny know, how? you could have just messaged me. In those two days, when you realize the first day went by, you could have messaged me the next day. I think better leader, I think you need to, you know, I think in that moment, I mean, if you're looking, you know, and consider yeah, texting. Also, what, how, what do you say about this when, you know, people give advice about, oh, don't message him back straight away. Excuse me. Excuse me. Wait, that's why they're single. That's why they're single. I think this is what I'm saying. Why? Why? That's why they're single. No, this is what I'm saying. That's why they're single. That's why they're single. But this is no. But this is single. No, but this is the thing, though. I think no, no. There's I don't know. There's there's some sort of psychology behind it. I'll help you out. I'll help you out. There is. Okay. Don't maybe don't text back as in like. But why not? Okay. Read it. I'll I'll say I'll say from a guy's point of view. Like sometimes. Yes, you're looking for a response. But when it's like straight away, okay, it's good. But sometimes, I don't know, guys like it when when you sometimes, you need to, okay, well, let me some. No, no, you just need to give a guy something to work with every single time, especially at the chasing stage. So, so, so sometimes, not, not, not like, not like, not overdo it, but just sometimes. So you just delaying that text is kind of like, it's keeping me on my toes, isn't it? It just, mm-hmm. and it's good for the chase. I'm talking about the chasing part. Okay. It's good for the chase. No, I'm not talking about I text you at four and you're replying at six. No, I'm talking about I text you at like four mm. and it's now like four or five, four or six. You saw it at four or one, mm. but you, it just, it's just for me as a guy, I mean, for a female, it might not make sense, but as a guy, it just keeps the chase healthy. You know what I'm it keeps me just keep, I'm pulling out my phone just to make sure that you've texted me or not. Do you mm. know what I mean? And then like, if you text straight away, I'm just like, okay, I'm excited. But as time goes on, I still need you to give me something to work on. I want you to say no sometimes. I don't think any guy here on earth likes a yes, 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 yes female. Mm. Guys love it. I'm telling you this, yeah. Regardless of where they're from, guys actually love it when a female actually gives them a tight... I'm not talking about toxic headache in terms of like... No, I'm talking about just a little bit of headache because you just want me to push a little harder. You just want me to... Do you know what I'm saying? It's balanced. Guys love that. I think guys love it. I'm talking about the chasing stage. Guys absolutely love it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just makes it like... Because remember, you're jewel, man. You're precious. So when I'm chasing you, I want to feel like when I got you now, queen. like, you're a queen, man. I deserve you now. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, so I, I love it. it it's gorgeous. Love it. <laughs> That's me, it. Say that again. You said, oh, you shouldn't overdo it. So what's not overdoing it? Not overdoing it. Like I just said, like, I've texted you at 4 o'clock. You've seen it at 4 okay. But you're now replying at 6 that's taking the piss. Like, I'm talking about four o'clock. No, I'm talking about, this is what I'm saying. I said it. I'm talking about four o'clock. Yeah. You see it at four or one. Yeah. Yeah, you reply at like four or five, four or six. Like, that's all right. You know what I mean? Just delay it a little bit. Just stretch it. Not all the time. Because from, from that first reply, mm. it might be four. I text you at four. You reply at four, five, four, six. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's fine. But then as it goes on, it might become just the first one, the mm. intro one, or the middle one. You, I know, have some kind of delay in it. Don't, don't let everything be like, boop, 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 boop. like the first one be like, boop. Oh, she ain't see, she's seen it, but she's not responding, fam. What's she doing? Oh, she's responding. She's rubbing. I thought she was airing me for a second. What was he doing, fam? I text, and you respond again. Nah, no, I was just busy, but you wasn't. You was just chilling. You seen it, and you read it on purpose. It just keeps guys going. It keeps them going. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't know about you, man. No, no, no. no, no it's true. It's true. Too, I like a little chase and stuff. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Well, I mean, 
know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. And trust me, and the game is vice versa. Guys will do that as well. Yeah. Guys will do that as well on purpose. Like they're just they've seen it. They're like, yeah, she texts me. I don't know, flying up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna you know what I'm trying to there. say. Hey, just a quick one though. So obviously we touched on a lot, and I, f- I hope like people are just um, blessed. But just yeah, random. Yeah, just just oh, oh no, no, go on, go on, oh, go on. No, no, oh, no, my bad, my bad, my, my bad, y'all, my bad, y'all. <laughs> my bad, yeah, go on, go on. Um, I would say transparency, really, because um, if you're claiming this person's your best friend, some girls or some guys tend to open up more to their friends than mm-hmm. they do to their girlfriends mm-hmm. or boyfriends. Mm-hmm. So for me, is how can you trust this? Fair enough, this person you've been friends with for a long time. But if you're then saying this per- your partner is your best friend, is your whatever, whatever, you're in love with them, how can you not open up to that person? And I understand with some people, it takes time for them to open up, but just be transparent. If there's something not going well, if you're broke, if you can't do anything, if you can't, like, we're meant to be... I was be, transparent today. If you're meant, we're meant I'm to happy. be, you know... Helping each other here. There's something so positive. I can't really help you if you're not being transparent, and I can't see through you mm. if you're just having all these. You, did up you just say if you're broke, like in terms of like letting you know, like yeah, I just bought this on like you know, the, yeah, this 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 thing is finance, bro. Like no, if you're broke, if like for example, because a lot of guys, yeah, they will not speak, but you will see it in how they're behaving, mm. and mm. you will understand this because they're broke. It's madness. I heard this story, yeah. There was People a guy. You mad. understand this story because it's like <laughs> a, you keep banging your head yeah. to make sure that... I, and I understand yeah, it's so cute. You want to you wanna make sure that I'm happy. You want to... But, <laughs> mate, at the end of the day, I don't want you... You know, because these things can affect you mentally. Mentally, yeah. yeah. I don't want you losing yourself yeah. in the find me. process of Finding trying to me. make me happy. Ooh, ooh, I like that. I like that. Come again. Don't lose yourself in the process of trying to find me. God damn, I like that. Yeah, because at the end of the day... <laughs> Because at the end of the day, mm. you know, like I said, we're meant to be helping each other. If mm, it is mm. that you're broke and you're missing five pounds, that's a, I, mm-hmm. mm. you're missing five pounds. I should be able to say, even if I don't have a fiver to give to you, I should be at least able to say, okay, here's one pound, here's two pounds. I can help you out because we're in a relationship. Yeah. You're my best friend. You're my partner, especially if you're seeing a future together. Are you gonna ask for that back? No. If you're, if you're in a relationship, I don't think. I don't think, I don't think, I think that's ridiculous. Be, if, if so let me give you a scenario then. I don't think you should. You should be claiming that money back. Alright, cool. You say that though. Challenge. You say that. You say that. It's funny. So I give you a. Re- I give you a scenario then. We're in a relationship. You must have a note, I need something, and you know. You know this. You notice that I need something. So you give me the money and tell that. Alright, babe. We're in a relationship. You know. Yeah. We're in a relationship. Like, in, in fact, forget the relationship. Like, we're like, basically, we're gonna get like. We know we ain't going nowhere. We know like we're gonna get married and everything. We've mm. discussed this. Mm. So you you know I need something, and you say to me, "All right, um, babe, I'm gonna give you this money. Like, yeah, just go get it, and then yeah, just just whatever, and then just when you're ready, just pay me back." Like, or no, I don't think that should come up, bro. I don't think that should be. But you know, when I'm talking about paying back, I'm not talking about you're gonna be on some kind of payment plan. <laughs> but because I'm gonna be with you anyway, <laughs> I know that you're gonna. <laughs> I know that somehow. <laughs> You're going to say to me, all right, babe, you helped me out the other day. Here's your two bills back. Here's your hundred pound back or whatever. I I think think for me, it's because it should be out of love. If you're helping someone. So out of love, I give you a thousand pound and that's it. And this is the thing. And this is why I'm I'm just trying to, I'm trying to remember. I'm just trying to hear you out. Yeah. If this is what I mean, people dash this word love out freely. Like they don't understand the, what if we break deep. up then? What if we break up then? This is this is the thing I'm saying. You were once in love with that person. That person was once yeah, your best yeah. friend, your yeah. partner. You were once I don't know. Oh, y'all built different. You were once about to get married or what? It happens. It's life. Y'all built like, different. It's life. You're not no, gonna turn happens, around man. and then no, no, say. No, no, no. But a lot of people disagree with this. What you guys are saying. Yeah, you're saying it. Yeah, I, I hear it. I guess it, it happens again. Once again, if you're gonna borrow something from somebody, pay back. I think just be honest. It goes back to what Mimi said. Be honest. If you have no yeah. intentions of paying me back, tell me, babe. No, no, no. I'm not talking about. Be honest. Yeah. Not but anything that you do out of love, yeah. you shouldn't friend, keep please. records of. Oh, I, I didn't. Uh, so, so what you you're saying? I'm not doing of. this because I'm expecting you to give me back. It's this. out of love because right. then it becomes expectations. It becomes I gave you one thousand, so you need to give Wait, me back. Right. So let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. You you're using a dead phone. Yeah, you're using a dead phone. And I'm like, gee, you can get... Why are you using that phone? You can get, like, phones on, like, 
contract and you say to me oh my name's kind of funny you know what i mean like i've got one of them ccjs they won't give me a phone yeah because you know there's guys out there that can't even take out a fork on finance you know what i mean because their name's just mad sort that out. yeah yeah sort yeah obviously he's going to sort it out but he's been we're talking about transparency he's been transparent with you okay. and you say ah cool i can get you a phone on, on finance as long as you pay for it yourself and you do that and he's then paying for it himself you've never paid a penny or you realize that okay he needed something and you give him the money and then now the relationship has gone pear shape, and you're now claiming all these things back. Is that healthy or toxic? Again, I'll say depend. If you know yourself, yeah, that you are not built in that way to be helping people in that way, then why are you in a relationship? One, you should be considering whether being in a relationship and being in a. You was feeling sorry for the guy, innit? You felt sorry for him. No, but then if you know you're the type of person that <laughs> where. Fine. You help people out and you expect... <laughs> what did you say? Oxfam, you was helping him out. And you expect, <laughs> like... The, what happened to You Oxfam? expect them to be given the same back to you or whatever. Having expectations kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Then yeah. you should reconsider because you're going to take that same attitude into your marriage. Hmm. Because what are you going to tell your husband? I borrowed you £1,000 last time. You need to pay it back to me. Not today, hmm. but as time goes on, pay me back my £1,000. Can you imagine? That's, That's the crazy. same attitude you're going to take into your marriage. On the subject of marriage then, what's well, you, what are you not saying think, about submission? I, after, uh, so the reason unique. why a lot of marriages Sorry. fail is because there's too much selfishness. Honestly. When you're in a marriage, you can't be selfish. You, you got have fact, to learn how to fact, share. You're not ready for You're not ready to, to get married then. Because you're living with another person. You marriage is not for But I share like you're broke, man. I keep giving you money. I'm funding your lifestyle now. But this is the thing. That, this is, I go back to people dash this word love out freely. You don't I, understand yeah. the level. Like when, when people love understand. this verse, love is patient, love is kind, love keeps no... Do you understand? When people read that and go word for word, do you do fulfill those things? If you claim you love someone, do you fulfill each one of those things? All right, thanks for enlightening someone out there, innit? Just remember, I just want to make sure that someone takes that. If you claim you love someone, I think, yeah, you should be able to. It's a partnership. It's like anything. The whole point is, yeah, anything that you can't do, I can do. And when you can't do it, I can do it. It's fine. Like, well, pe- the problem is, y'all people, different. people en- are entering marriages, relationships, thinking as individuals. Mm. It's a partnership. You are together. Two mm. become one. Mm, 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 Which mm, means, mm. if I don't have and you have, we have. It's not like, if okay, I have, I have you don't have. Lying, what's going on? I there? give, yeah, but run not, back. The, yeah. That's spot run it back. On. People, uh, you need to stop thinking as a I, 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 mm, I. Mm, mm, it's mm, now we. Mm, okay, mm, babe, you don't have it. I have it. That's fine. We'll sort out your phone And even bill. if we don't That's have okay, it, it's okay. And yeah. any Let's relationship be different. Like Y'all build different. Yeah. Say relationship Anybody will understand that. Different. You know what? When yeah. I didn't have, she had it's not Yeah, yeah. It's mature. Do you know how mature you have to be? Going back. Going back. A young and bright. A young and bright. Going back to my dad. My dad also said he gave one key gems because just before he passed, they celebrated their thirty-first wedding anniversary. Oh, so done. And he was given a few gems, and he was like. Marriage is obviously not for the immature. It's not for kids. Mm. When you're going into marriage, one of the key things you need to remember is you need to be ready to share. Mm. To share everything that you have. Mm. And if you're not but ready to share... But someone will argue that just because I don't want to share, I'm not immature. No, 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 no. Get just out of that you are, of you are immature. You are immature. You are immature. Because if sorry. you're not ready to share, Actually, sorry, not even sorry, the sorry. littlest of things, if you're not ready to share, that means you're not ready for marriage. Wow. You're not ready for marriage, so you might as well take some moment and sit back and f- and really reconsider and think if you actually want to be married, because yeah. that's one key thing. Boy, and I think, I think, I think that's, the, that's the main reason why, like, I, like a lot of marriages are marriages are not lasting nowadays. You know. Do you know what? It's so sad though. Like, I think it's it so is, sad it because there's actually people on the internet saying things like, like sis, yeah, if you're with him, let him go sort out his own life. Let him go. D- Excuse me. You do you know that yeah? Some it's of us are on this earth yeah to help somebody's destiny. Mm, so true. this person that you're with yeah, you it might, could be it could be your job to help him get. But that person might just feel like it it's not their job. You might not be on this earth to live for yourself. You might be here to help somebody else along. I ain't trying to be someone's and that helper. Is it. It's true though. That's the reality. Of and that's harsh and as it sounds. We well, need to start mm-hmm. thinking like that. Like it's not just about you. Damn. You're not just here. It's not just about your story. Mm. It's about somebody else's story as well. And I think that if you are not is that from Rose to share, you yeah. have to be honest Black, with yourself. Am I ready to share my time? Mm-hmm. I'm not, am I ready to? Because I really have a hard time looking at somebody who's who is Bro. my partner and thinking, 
They broke. You're broke ass like. Yeah, yeah seeing them go through a I hard time. I have an issue with that because if you're not and good, me, I'm not on top of them. So why why can't we? Some girls will walk away. Honestly, like yeah, if you're not good, I'm not good. So I'm gonna make sure that we are good. Like we are good. If I can do it. We can do it. So yeah. it, it, it's it's not. And sometimes it's literally please, like it's okay it. if you both if you literally it's like just make a good situation out of the bad. Just see the positive. Man, oh, and I, I, I know it sounds all cliche and stuff, but just see the positive in the negative because a lot of people. How do you think all these celebrities that have been with like their partners since they were like young and they didn't have anything and now they're together? It's like even during their broke days, they were able to make a good a, pos- a good situation out of work. the negative yeah, yeah. and Love. they were able to ride that out together and now they're able to enjoy the fruits of their labor mm. you all in to. the name of they didn't look at the fact that this person was broke or this person didn't pay me back the one pound i gave to them they just saw more than that they saw further than that and i think that's one thing that you know, mm. we should probably work on as the younger social generation. Media. Yes. Social media. As the yeah. younger generation. Social media. Spot on. Spot on. Yeah. Social media. Spot on. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Social media, yeah. It's like what we said last time. Yeah. It's, I think the bottom line is do what works for you. Mm. This Valentine, please do what works for mm-hmm. you. Just because the next girl is in the hotel with petals mm. and you're at home with Peter, mm. it doesn't mean that your man loves you any less. Mm-hmm. It doesn't That's mean it. that your woman loves you any less. Yep. Please do live by your means. Mm. Stay in your lane and everybody will be happy. And be understanding. Yeah, don't One try and do yeah. above yeah. and beyond. A lot of people been on furlough. A lot of people yeah, lost yeah, their yeah, jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be just, understanding. Just, if he I gets learned, you a yeah. Zara bag, if he gets you a Z- yeah. Zara you boots, then you just sit there and watch if he, that is fine. Appreciate. Yeah. Time, appreciate. Time. Appreciate. Because appreciate. you know what? Some people have got these Gucci bags and all of that and all of that stuff, but that man don't even have time for them. But your man is there with you. You're watching a movie and stuff like that. It's It's the time... That matters, and you know, some I think people have let's lost not fall their into partners. the the, the, the financial scam of Valentine's Day mm. of yeah. the whole. You have to break the bank. You don't mm. have to. I think this one, your my, time is yeah. enough. Your I think this one, we enough. need to see it in a different light. I think mm. this Valentine's, even as everyone said, we said Valentine's is every day, blah blah. Okay, but I'm specifically speaking on this occasion. I think, especially considering what we've all been through the past year and couple months and whatnot, I think this Valentine should be more about appreciating one another. Mm. Appreciating, one, the fact that you're actually still able to be there with your partner. Mm. Some people don't even have... Some people have lost their partners. Yeah, you're going bright. So I think this one should be more about appreciation Mm -hmm. and just sharing the love, really just sharing the love because everyone's had it rough one way or another everyone's had it rough yeah, and yeah, yeah, this yeah, one yeah. should just really be about appreciation yeah, yeah. and true. just being grateful like it's not about the gifts it's not about what it's just about appreciating yeah. and being grateful that you still have your partner with you your marriage is still going strong mm. you have a beautiful family and so on and so on yeah. Your boyfriend, girlfriend is still there and so on and so on just appreciate it and don't be a party people yeah. say oh Valentine's Day no. Yeah. <laughs> That's no. good, man. Yeah. Well, no. guys, I think I think we should. Wrap I hear up. that. I hear that. Yeah. Let's wrap that up, man. Yeah. It's been a good one. It's wrap been a good one. Day. Listen, we're back Few again. From everybody. Enjoy yeah. this special Valentine's, laugh. One nugget. Hey, yeah. t- take something from us. Yeah. Yeah. Not all of it. <laughs> but like a, a yeah. disclaimer again. Yeah. I would just. Dis- I'm. I'm not married. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm married. I'm, I'm not married. Out there. It's okay. I'm not married. But I'm just talking. And what? And like I say, you one day. You know. Yeah, yeah, one day, it's God okay. willing, one day. It's okay. Um, it's right. But I'm just saying. It's okay. That, you're right, it's all right. Based it's on the right, things you right. said. It's not worried. Because you know, you don't want people coming at you. Don't worry yourself. Yeah, but why are you talking? You're not even married. No, 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 it's, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. You know what? It's okay. We can all learn from each other. Married people, single people. Yeah, it's all right. You can all take, you know, as long as I think there's certain things that married people may forget that single people still can remind them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's certain things that married people do that single people need to start getting into the habit of doing. So you're doing well. We you're can all well. learn from each other, so you're doing well. Uh, Don't Jay, worry. Hey, you're a snugget. You're no, no. I mean, spawn, spawn, man. You know what I mean, you know what I mean, you, you bang on, bang on. I, 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 I've actually lost words, man. I was I mean, you hit it right, nail on the head, man. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's yeah. it, man. Yeah, just wrap it up. Just unique. Yeah. Yeah, for myself, um, just be happy, enjoy yourself, enjoy each other, yeah, for appreciate real. life, and uh, yeah, man. 
more life to you, more blessings. Yes. Um, if you, a young Amber, a young yeah, Amber. if you if you would like any ideas, DM us. Yes, um, we're there. Our, a young our, Amber, our research a young team <laughs> yeah. would uh, be more than happy to give you any Valentine gems that you would like. But yeah, guys, enjoy, enjoy yourself, next enjoy year. your food, drink, enjoy, enjoy each other, man. Don't listen to your boys or mm. your girls. Mm. Man, them stop okay? it. Okay, <laughs> big Jono, big Jono, big Jono. No, you know, I think everything's been pretty much said, you know. But I just say appreciate each other's company. One day doesn't determine how much you love each other. Yeah, like, yeah that's, that's, it. Like, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day is Valentine's Day. Every exactly. Day is Valentine's Day. Yeah. Exactly. Every day. Is All right, runs. Yeah, boy. I, don't, I think obviously um, we touched on a lot more than just Valentine's Day. I think the key thing here is to understand uh, that people need to stop um, really throwing that word toxic out to blame everyone else. I think I they know. need to to have that self evaluation as well. And like yeah. you know, before you call someone else toxic, you know, really just check yourself you know are you really you know are you are you that innocent you know is 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 it really just someone else's fault and so it's not I, your fault to, 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 what's that saying before you point yeah. out the splinter someone exactly else, I point out that look at the plank of wood that's in yours <laughs> for real <laughs> so. yeah so before you can before you can you know because i think it's easier for us to just blame everyone else and i think that's something that we do as people yeah. We just tend to, when things don't go our way, we just want to find someone to blame because we it, it just couldn't be our fault. When sometimes it actually is your fault. The reason why things didn't work out the way it should have worked out, professionally, love or whatever, is because you did something that you shouldn't have done. Now you are paying for the consequences. So stop blaming everyone else. It's not about your mom, your dad or your your partner or whatever it could be something that you did that led to this yeah. so that's number one and number two um really um, be careful with who you're taking advice from online um understand that everyone's life is different everyone's life is different mm -hmm. yes there's some people really giving some positive advice out there and about love about um finances about you know um investments and stuff like that yeah, if if it's helping you uh, improve your finances and help, improve your health and your you know physical and mental health, by all means, yeah, go go ahead. But if it's starting to make you feel like you're doing life wrong, mm -hmm. then there's something wrong with that advice because you shouldn't be made to feel like they you know the, your way of doing life is wrong because you have to now do life the way that person is doing life. Mm -hmm. That's completely wrong. And on the subject of Valentine's and and you know and the chase and stuff like that, I think you know um, guys need to go back into what happened to chirpsing man the old days of chirpsing a girl you know is that gone out of the way you know as social media made everything easy a girl can just slide in your dm shoot their shot or yeah the, the that art of guys pursuing women and women playing a little bit hard to get and you know that's beautiful we want that we want that to continue because it's just you know it's nice mm -hmm. and on the subject of valentine i think enjoy your day with your partner um, whether husband boyfriend and fiance enjoy it and you know what you're doing with them on that day as long as it's about appreciating each other it's fine just because you didn't get 100 roses just because you're not drinking moet or you didn't get a chanel bag or your your partner didn't decorate the house in a certain way it's okay so that's nice. worked for them they have the means to do that or they thought about doing that it's okay you can learn and do it next time so but in that particular in that on that particular day just enjoy each other Whatever it is that you're doing, as long as it's the focus is both of you, it's absolutely fine. And lastly, guys, please subscribe, please comment, please share, and please give us feedback on what it is. Bell. This guy listened. Rena Mimi. He answered. Rena Mimi. You see what we're talking about? Answer the text. This guy listened. Rena Mimi. <laughs> he listened. Um, Good man. Somebody that went to school. Yeah, so um, in regards to Valentine's, as it is Valentine's weekend, um yeah just like i've said previously appreciate let this one be about appreciation and gratefulness because yeah just appreciation and gratefulness and um also one thing is when you're dashing around when you're throwing out that word love mm. understand what it actually means first before you throw it out there it's not to be misused. Mm -hmm. When you throw it out there, understand what it actually means and don't just say it for the sake of saying it. And when you do love someone, understand that it goes so deep that you'll be willing to do anything for that person. Yeah, younger and bright. Yeah, younger so, yeah, and bright. That was my nuggets. Yeah, younger and bright. Nibby Nibby names. Names. Yeah. Oh, Nibby Names. Oh, sorry. Go on. Okay. Um, for me, 
men show affection to your women mm -hmm. women respect your man mm -hmm. you know Submission. together that's unity and together that you know will make a happy environment mm -hmm. for you guys to to live in to stay in or mm -hmm. to communicate in etc um on your social medias <laughs> make sure it's um things make sure you know on your feeds they're they're things that you know bring positivity to you mm. you know things that you, that matter to you not mm. things that um will distract you or allow you to compare mm. yourself to others mm. so you know look after yourself because you matter mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. love yourself um love the people that are around you be content with what what's what's around you and what's mm. in your life mm. as well you know stop comparing yourself to other other people mm. and also mm. Be careful with what you're listening to. Be careful who you're listening to mm. because that could take a toll onto your relationships, you know, whether it's romantic relationships or friendships that are mm. around you. Or even professional relationships. Yeah, professional yeah, relationships yeah, yeah, yeah. as well, yeah, you know. It. And, you know, be mindful of what's happening around you. Mm. Mm. Honestly, be mindful of what you're eating. Be mindful of what you're thinking. Mm. Be mindful of what, what you're feeding yourself. It's really important. Mm. Do you know what? Sorry, on professional relationships, I know we're going to go to Bel Elite. It's really important to sustain a good relationship with people like you unique said it makes sense now because you don't know who god's going to use tomorrow to bless you mm. so all these burning bridges and just going in the name of i'm doing my thing you know i don't really like exactly. you know just make sure that you're keeping a good yeah. relationship yeah. with people yeah. around you because you know yeah yeah that's for real you know, that's for real to be mindful of why mm. they're coming yeah. in there yeah. you know and it's okay to have friends for different reasons mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. friends that you go out with Friends that you talk to, you know, mm -hmm. friends that you share your, mm -hmm. you know, your, your, your things mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Real, so um, real, real. yeah just be mindful honestly mm -hmm. be mindful be content be happy mm -hmm. honestly mm -hmm. with what you have because what you mm -hmm. have other people might be looking for that as well mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. appreciate appreciate yourself appreciate everything you know and god bless Bella Lee was the crack Marvelous. um i think everyone covered everything really um yeah just mm. do whatever works for you mm. you and your partner and yeah don't really fall for this social media mm. you know not if it's not working for them they will not come on social media and tell you yeah. or post on that oh yeah. it's not working yeah. Yeah. this that they only yeah. come online yeah. to show you what's good for you to, to see yeah. you yeah. so yeah so hollywood do, love <laughs> yeah so just Can do what works for you and yeah <laughs> just <laughs> for this mm. weekend just Boom. show appreciation <laughs> Um, to your partner, mm -hmm. you yeah, do whatever you know, enjoy each other's company, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. all right. Then, enjoy this yeah. special one, it's been real from all of us here from Be My Guest Show. Please subscribe and follow on the socials. And yeah, we we'll see you soon, man. Thank you for tuning in. We we'll see you hour. next week, over and out. Eight time, peace out. Bye -bye. Yeah, yeah, be my guest. <laughs> oh.